Coming up, we've got all tips and advice for your disembarkation. Ooh, getting off the ship. First tip would begin a lot before you disembark, so way before you even get onto the cruise. It would be when you're booking your flights home. If you are getting a flight home, we recommend you don't book it too early because it is a little bit of a mad rush to get off the ship on the last day and it can take a few hours to get through immigration, to pick up your bags, get the taxi to the airport or the transport to the airport. So we recommend you don't book your flight till at least about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So it gives you plenty of time to get to the airport safely and not miss your flight but you've just got to think you don't want to be stressing and also that you could be delayed if the ship does not clear uh, customs as it's coming into the port and also just in case you get into port a little bit late in the morning say you've been held back because of weather or something you don't want to risk missing your flight so just book it a little bit later okay and now on to gratuities or tipping this is really simple with cruise lines as it's automatically deducted on the last day of your cruise. So you don't usually have to do anything at all. The money just comes off of your card that you've left at guest services and tips are automatically calculated as well. So the automatic amount will go to your room steward, the restaurant, the servers. So there's no worrying about how much to give to each person. That's usually completely taken care for you. There'll be a breakdown put into your room exactly who gets what, so how much each person will get. And also some cruise liners will give extra little envelopes in case you want to give that a little bit extra. Make sure you fill in the customer cards as well and highlight the people who've done an excellent job because this is used for their promotion as well and, and ongoing on the company, so it really helps them. Any alcohol or anything that's been restricted and taken away from you during the cruise, so say you bought some nice uh, rum in Jamaica, it's usually taken away from you because it's restricted and given back to you on the last day. So make sure you keep your receipts and collect these on the last day. Sometimes you can also organize for them to be delivered to your room on the last day. So make sure you remember these and don't leave them behind. And that goes to the same for any photos that you've ordered. Remember to collect these as well. And if you did want to purchase photos, we don't recommend doing it on the last day. Do it before the last day because it can get really busy at the uh, photo shop as well. Also, if you'd like to settle your account in cash, we recommend you do this as early as possible on the last day because customer services can get really, really busy. Yeah, and if you're paying by credit card or left a credit card on file, you don't have to do anything at all. Anything you bought on the cruise will be automatically deducted, so you don't need to go to guest services or anything like that to settle your account. But we do recommend getting a printout anyway. You can usually get this from guest services. Some cruise lines have machines where you can pop your card in and it'll print you off a a summary of your charges and you can also sometimes view them on the television screen within your cabin as well. So to avoid any nasty surprises on your last day and any long lines at customer services just check your onboard account a couple of times as you go out throughout the cruise. Yeah we check ours every other day just to make sure that the things that we have bought we have like there's no surprises on yeah. there like oh we didn't buy two bottles of champagne exactly. in that bar last night. And you don't want to be in the customer services queue for like three hours and then you get to the front and you're like, oh, actually, I did buy them two bottles of champagne. <laughs> the pad they had before. Yeah. So you should receive all the details about your disembarkation, maybe a day or two before the end of your cruise. This usually comes in the form of a letter within your cabin. So you'll usually be given a tag which indicates the time that you will be leaving. Sometimes these are colour coded. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you're given a blue tag, which means when you look at the list, of disembarkation times, blue tags will leave between 9 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. So it's nice and organized so you know exactly where you need to be and what time you need to be to get off the ship. And if you're not happy with your disembarkation time, visit guest services before the end of the cruise to ask if there's any chance they could move your disembarkation time to a time that better suits you. Yeah, they are usually very flexible. You can also choose to do a walk off from your ship as well. These usually take place first, so really early. So if you do want to walk off the cruise with your own bags, you can do this, but it's usually about 6.30, 7 a.m. Yeah. in the morning, isn't it? But do bear in mind during this time, the lifts are very busy and obviously your luggage is going to be heavy. So if you're absolutely fine and carrying your own luggage off the ship, we do recommend it because it's a real nice quick way off the ship, isn't it? But as we said, you have to pre-book if you want to walk off the cruise. So you do this with guest services a day or two before the end of your cruise. Just let them know you'd like to walk off and this means you carry your own luggage off the cruise. So how would the last night of your cruise look? Very well, sad. Oh, very sad, exactly, yeah. Um, as Ben said, you will get luggage tags in your room that will be colour coded. You need to put these on your luggage and leave your luggage outside of your cabin the night before. 
you will be given a time where it has yeah. to be done by. I think it's usually about 10.30 p.m. or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's usually between yeah. 10 p.m. and midnight. And what will happen is you leave your luggage outside and the crew will come and collect your luggage and take it away for you. So just like getting on the ship, you need to remember to keep all your essentials in your carry-off bag, so your hand luggage. Exactly, so medication, anything that you're going to need for definite during that morning. As well as a change of clothes for the next morning, also documentation and ID. Yeah, make sure you keep your passport and any documents on you as well because you don't want to be putting these no. in your luggage because you'll have problems getting off the ship exactly. when you have to clear customs. So on the last morning you'll get up as normal maybe a bit uh, earlier than usual mm -hmm. and then you can still go and get a meal for breakfast so yeah. you're usually allocated a restaurant to go to or you can also go use the buffet. Yes yeah, so there's no rush to exit the ship until you're really till your allotted time. Most of the facilities will be closed so things like the pool, the spa, the gym will not be open but uh, you can still sort of enjoy the lounges and stuff like that. Exactly. And you'll be told an exact time before you need to be out of your room. Just like staying in a hotel, you need to leave before a certain time. While you're enjoying the last couple of hours on the ship, you need to listen out, listen out for your embarkation group to be called. So even though, say, you had an allotted time between 8.30 and 9pm, it could be delayed. PM? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's going late, isn't it? <laughs> 8.30 till 9am, you could be delayed. So just listen out for your group to be called before heading down to exit the ship. And once your crew is called, you'll head down to the ship, but remember to have your cruise card with you because you will need to swipe out the ship and also have any documentation such as customs declaration forms filled out before you head down to exit the ship because this will make a much smoother exit off the ship. And if you have luggage to pick up, this will be in the big luggage hall just after you leave the ship and it's usually set into different sections. The sections which correspond to your tag. So if you were blue, had a blue tag, you would find your luggage in the blue area. It's really simple. Our top tip here is that you will feel like absolute try getting off the ship yeah it's not nice. it is it's a very sad event time. no matter how much you can bottle this up it's horrific isn't it leaving the ship it's not nice you're just getting off the ship and you're literally like no don't, don't let me leave it's so sad it's really horrible if you would like to get in touch with us you can find us on social media and all the channels that are right here and please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so that's it for this week until next time happy, happy cruising. cruising back to reality Back to life, back to reality, back to die. Uh, 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 uh.